Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're going to be talking about six digit passcodes in iOS 9. So in iOS 9, there is a new option for six digit passcodes, and I'm going to be talking all about that in today's video because there's some confusion. I mean, I was even wondering, am I going to have to automatically convert to a six digit passcode? And it looks that as of right now in iOS 9 beta 1, the answer is no, you can still use your four digit passcode. As you guys can see right now, I'm running iOS 9, I almost said iOS 8. I am running iOS 9 on this device right here. If I type in my passcode 1234, it's still four digits and it works perfectly fine. However, if we do navigate to the passcode settings panel, let's enter 1234 again to gain access to this. If we go ahead and hit change passcode and enter our passcode just one more time, you can see there's a new button that says password options. And here you can see it says custom alphanumeric code, custom numeric code, or six digit numeric code. Off the bat, there's no option for four digits because you can see that by default, four digits still looks like it's going to be the way to go. Although I have seen some images of people restoring completely to iOS 9, setting it up as a new device and having to enter a six digit passcode without the option for four digits. But if you are simply upgrading your device from iOS 8 to iOS 9, you should still be able to use a four digit passcode. This is also kind of interesting because of course the custom alphanumeric code is just like they've had on many previous versions of iOS. You can use letters, numbers, all kinds of stuff. New things here though are not only the six digit passcode, but there's actually a custom numeric code. Now this is pretty cool because iOS 9 actually gives you the option to use as many or as little digits in a number passcode as you want. If you just want one number as your passcode, for example, one, you can actually do that in iOS 9. Now if you're wondering how that looks on the lock screen, as I know I was, it won't actually give away how many digits your custom numeric code is. It could be, I guess, from one to a thousand, but it's still going to show you this box right here, and it's not going to show you how many digits. So if you do have just a one digit passcode, it's not going to show one bubble because obviously, then it would be incredibly easy for someone to know if you're using this custom numeric passcode, how many attempts that they have to try to get into your phone. So it's a pretty cool security feature there. The final passcode option introduced in iOS 9 is six digit passcodes. This is kind of interesting because like I mentioned earlier, some people said that when they were setting up their iPhone after a clean restore on iOS 9, it suggested for them to use a six digit passcode by default. Apple also marks this as a feature on their official iOS 9 website, saying that with four digits, you had a total of 10,000 different passcode combinations. But by adding two more digits to that and increasing the length of the iOS passcode to six digits, you'll actually have a million different combinations for any given passcode, which is pretty awesome if you ask me. I don't think I'll be enabling six digit passcodes on iOS 9 right off the bat, just because I'm not really worried about the overall security or someone typing in a passcode to hack my device in the first place. But it is pretty cool that if you want added security, the options for that are definitely present within iOS 9. Of course, for more iOS 9 content, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, you're more than welcome to hit that like button as well. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you in the next one.